Well, technology is a part of our kids' daily routine and ours as well, let's face it. But knowing how to stop children from becoming addicted to technology, uh, well, it is a big challenge for lots of families. Have a look at this. Basically, what we're going to do is get rid of the Wi-Fi and only use the computer what? from 8 to 8.30 at night. How are we going to go on the computer? We're going to have a hard line in the kitchen. Yeah, we'll supervise that. You need to get outside more. Do some playing outside. Yeah, you can build things. out. You could build a, a fort outside. What? Yeah, build a, build a fort. Play with your friends and have... Make some... a fort outside? Yeah. And do what? Have little... Do what in the fort? When I was a kid, we used to build tree houses and play with sticks. Nobody plays <laughs> with sticks. <laughs> Yes, they do. Now, that movie's This Is 40. Don't they sum it up well? Oh, haven't we got to see that? Yeah. yeah. Okay, so for some help with screen addiction, the author of 21 Days to a Happier Family, Dr Justin Coulson, is here with a few simple tips. Let's hope they're simple, I'm Justin. I'm just hearing I reckon... going, I've had that conversation with my six kids. We all have. Yeah. We all have. Um, school holidays obviously present a bigger challenge than any other time. Because Especially it's winter time as well. Because it's a concentrated time. Yeah. So how much time... Time is too much time? Uh, this is a horrible question to answer because the, the truth is we all kind of do such a bad job in keeping to the guidelines. So the American Pediatric uh, Association has recently updated their guidelines and they're saying if you've got kids under two, so infants, zero screen time. Yep. Once the children are uh, toddlers and preschoolers, half an hour a day. Uh, when they're in primary school, an hour a day. And when they're in high school, two hours a day. Oh, and that's just not realistic. Uh, nobody keeps that. And, and the reasons why we should are, are pretty significant. You know, it's bad for eyes, it's bad for physical activity, it's bad for obesity, uh, it's bad for social relationships, it's bad for sleep, it's bad for physical health, it's bad for cognitive uh, activity. I mean, it, it's just not good for us. And if they have too much, it also means that they don't know what it is to be bored and to yeah. find something other to do than, than look at a screen. Uh, you can't sell that to a child, though. If you say, it's so important that you're bored so that you can use your imagination, they're just going to say, well, like, like that clip, like, mm. why would you want Who to Who uses sticks? That's right. <laughs> you can get an app for that. That's right, yeah. um, Look, I'm thinking back to when, when we were kids, it was probably the same arguments being put forward, but it was about watching TV. You're spending too much time in front of the TV. So there are some that say, look, you just need to accept that this is just part of the way the world evolves and kids are looking at iPads these days just like once upon a time they were sitting down watching TV. Yeah, I've got square eyes because I was addicted when I was a kid and, and I turned out all right. Mm. Uh, you know, technology is part of the world that we live in now and, and I don't think that we should be banning it. You know, it, it just doesn't work. But that doesn't mean that we should accept it whole as bolus, full wholehearted acceptance and have no limits. We need to have a good balance. And, and if parents can help their kids to have a bit of everything, the kids will be OK. OK, so we're just looking at some tips there. Accept technology is here to stay. Plan your kids' screen time wisely and use screen time for education. So when it comes to planning that time wisely, how do you do that and how do you keep to a limited period of time? So the first thing to do is actually have a conversation with your kids, just like in that clip. But, but, but don't sit down and say, we're going to get rid of the internet. Instead, you want, to, you want to ask them, what have you noticed about our family or about your relationships or about your friends when screens become intrusive? How are we going? What can we do to make it better? Come up with some ideas together. You might, um, you might say no screens at mealtimes or no screens an hour before bed because it interferes with sleep. Or when friends are over, mm. no screens. I, I wonder whether... Hypocrisy plays a, a role here because I've seen parents before saying, listen, get off that iPad while they're on their own phone as well. So that might be something to keep in mind. Look, we've got a lot more tips coming up on the website as well. Justin, thank you very much. And with six Great, kids, thanks, that's six iPads. <laughs>